female MC. What is your opinion on the resurgence of female MCs right now? For instance, Nicki Minaj, and then recently we had, you know, Lady of Rage on the BT Summer, uh, yeah. and Nitty Scott on the BT Summer. She's a, a new MC right now. Okay, I never heard of her. But what I think about, I think it's a good look. I mean, it's a lot of females that's out here doing their thing, and we get so underrated because it's so many men. But to me, in my opinion, like, it's actually a lot of hot chicks that spin better than half these men. I know I am. Like, um, I'm a good performer. I spit, and I'm just in the, the league with them, you know? So I think it's a really good thing. Shout out to Nicki Minaj and all the other females that's doing their thing. Um, do you think it's more difficult for a southern female rapper to get... Shine. I don't. Uh, I think everybody got their own individual lane. Like me, I'm a gangster girl, so I'm not the only gangster girl in the world. You know what I'm saying? So I think I represent for the gangster girls, and that's how I'm still able to ride my lane and pop back up in and out when I want to. Um, it might be a little different, but at the same time, there's pros and cons even being from New York um, because it's a lot of southerners that might not get into the whole lyrical New York hip hop type flow. So I think it got I think it goes either way. I don't think it's a big deal. We have a list of the top 40 female MCs. I'm going to give you the top 5. Okay. And where you rank. Okay. Um so number 1 is Lauren Hill. Mhm. Mm number 2 is Queen Latifah. Mhm. Mm number 3 is Salt and Pepper. Mhm. Mm 4 is Missy Elliott and number 5 is Nicki Minaj. And then at number six, we have Little Kim, which kind of sparked like this big thing mm. and had even our viewers kind of, mm -hmm. you know, throwing the gun at us a little bit for the placement of Nicki over Kim. I think Little Kim should most definitely be over Nicki Minaj. Okay. 100%. It's like, it's not, it's, I can't even say none about it. It's just like, it's supposed to be. Like, that's like, you know, it is what it is. Like, I looked up to Little Kim. Little Kim inspired a lot of, just not even my flow is coming up, but just a lot of sexiness, the how she wore the different color wigs, and you know what I'm saying? So I think definitely, like, that's not saying either one is better than the other, but as far as rank, mm -hmm. LaCam should be top five, not six at all. Right. Like, I would put LaCam over Lauren Hill. I don't consider her a, a rapper. She's more of a singer to me. That's right. just me, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I am from the South, so I love Lauren Hill, but I would, LaCam to me, top three. Top three. And yeah. then my next question to you is, would be who would, who would be your top five female MCs? Shauna. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not in no order. Okay. So I would say Shauna, Lil Kim, uh, the Brat, uh, and this is not include myself because of course I'm gonna feel like I'm number one. But on the a humble note, I like this is who I grew up like Lil Kim. Uh, Foxy Brown, I grew up listening to her. The Brat, um, who else did I say? Shauna, I love her. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I got one more, mm -hmm. hmm, Mia X. Okay. That's mine. And then on the list, you rank at number 19. Yeah. On the list. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. I mean, I think that's dope. <laughs> <laughs>